and Dave are up in Hamilton County. They have, the Extension Service has a so day, and Ooh. Margaret's even one of the speakers today. So they loaded up the trailer with almost everything and took it up and are, they'll be back tonight. Yeah. So Caitlin and I get to do the job. We get to play today. To play. And we have Denise filming us. She, she saved our bacon this morning. I'm behind the scenes, guys, this morning. <laughs> so good morning, everyone. <clears throat> This morning, we have some fantastic, lovely new knits here. We're all about garments here at the University of Sewing, and, and it's just so exciting when boxes get popped open oh, and we're yeah. going, yay! Yeah, <laughs> and we're all like, come look at this! Look at the fabric! <laughs> and ooh and ah. Uh -huh. So we've got a whole bunch of beautiful knits for you this morning to show you. And we'll talk a little bit about sewing on those knits. We've got some patterns and we've got some tips and tricks for knits as well. Um, hey, sorry. ladies, you know what we forgot? The oh, giveaway. A giveaway this giveaway. morning. Caitlin's you know going to go. Is, don't you? <laughs> Caitlin's going to the treasure box to find our giveaway goodie. Yeah. Well, yesterday you mentioned it was the fat quarters in the pumpkin. Yes. Maybe you may have something else. Yes. Yeah. over there. I think they took the pumpkin with them. Okay. So. so, you know, we can do a lollipop out of the pumpkin, of but we'll course. find you something else, yes. too. So please share and tell us you shared. That's the best way about the only way we know that you have shared. So we would really appreciate that. And we appreciate you coming and, and visiting with us this morning. We really do. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. No? Yes. She has a little package of starry basics. Starry basics. How many are in that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. But it's a fun little thing and, and we'll We'll, we'll find a matching fat quarter out of the pumpkin for them. How's that? I love that idea. <laughs> That's cute. A lot so, of cute colors in there with star stars. All of them have stars. Hence the name, Starry Basics. Yay. <laughs> okay, so that's our giveaway today. Um, Dave says the pumpkin is in the window, by the way. So. Oh, it is. It's it right is in the there. window. Good morning, Dave and Margaret. Hope it's going well. They had to be there very early this morning, and that's not exactly Margaret's thing. So hopefully <laughs> she's awake and, and kicking. <laughs> like this big pumpkin? That big pumpkin, yeah. What about it? Pick it up and bring it over here. This no, 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 no. The one with all the lollipop fat quarters in it. Right there oh, in front of you. This No. This that one. one. <laughs> Too many pumpkins in the window. Look at that. That's cute. So we got pumpkins and those are fat quarters. That's really cute. We're so all decked out for Halloween up there. We are, very much so. Okay, we have, I don't know, what, three, six, nine, ten, eleven new nips here today. Yeah. So let's start looking at them. We weren't sure about this one. But it's then so once we got it, we couldn't remember ordering it, but look at how pretty and fun that is. Those are blue little dragonflies on there, so it'll go with jeans. Just a great t-shirt. Yeah, you know? I love the dragonflies. And yeah. Free leaf clovers in the background. And notice how wide these are. These are, let's show you how wide these are. These are 30... Oh, over 31 inches wide, so that makes it 62 inches wide. A lot wider than you're going to find any place else. What this means for you is that you can buy less. All you need is a body length and a sleeve length. So just measure how long you think you want it, how long your sleeve is, that's all you need. So you don't need two, three yards to make a t-shirt. Yeah. You can get the front you know, unless it's got lots of pieces or you're making a dress, but a regular t-shirt, just a body length and sleeve length. So even for kids, body length and sleeve length, that's it. Probably could get two t-shirts for a kid out of there. So there's our first one, the pretty little dragonflies. Now put on your sunglasses, guys. This one, <coughs> this is bold and bright. It's happy. It's happy, incredibly happy. Look at the pretty red poppies on the pink. That'll Wait. make a nice Valentine's Day. I know Valentine's Day seems really far away, but honestly, this year's fine. Or you just want to feel awake and wide. That's so <laughs> and pretty and bright on a dreary day or something. But, oh yeah, no, 
I'm I'm making one of these. Yeah. <laughs> we all have our favorites, right? Oh, very and much so. And we're all like, ooh, and it's fun to discover everyone's like a, a fabric person. We kind of thought maybe this one went with that, but we weren't sure. You could use I mean, it you as, could. Maybe you could use it as a binding or a cuffs or something or a little trim. I like here mixing there. prints. Yeah, yeah. So there's this one. And it's just kind of a, I can't say it's black, but maybe maroon mm. with that same coral, red coral stripe. But you can have fun with t-shirts like that. You cut the pattern down the middle and put one going crossways and one going up and oh, down. Oh, yeah. So not necessarily straight up and down stripes. Right, right. Or diagonal. crossways or anything, yeah. yeah. These have four-way stretch on them, so you can do that. So you've got a fair amount of stretch. These are all 100% cotton. Actually, they're not 100% cotton. They're 95% cotton, 5% elastane, which means the stretch. And it also means it'll go back once you stretch it out. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will keep its shape. Alice, what kind of care instructions would be for a fabric like that? On these, wash and dry. Okay. Um, you would not want to fry dry them. Mm -hmm. um, fry dry. Fry dry them. Do not, fry dry. Do not like high the, heat. High heat. Long right. time high heat. You know, just don't throw them in with the towels or the jeans. Gotcha. You know, maybe, maybe if it's a little damp, you can hang it up and just let it. If if that's the way you care for it, is just you know gentle washing and hanging to dry, perfectly acceptable. This one, I can't decide if those are flowers or not. What do you think? To me, just, it looks like someone left a paint can down, <laughs> put a paint can down, and it's just left kind of like barely there circles. Yeah, but in pretty blue and black. Yeah. I have a shirt almost like this. I, maybe you've seen me wear it, but it's got the same blue, black, and oh, gray. Yeah. Do you know how many things this goes with? Blue, black, gray. You can wear gray pants, black pants. Um, it ends up being a really good wardrobe color. And these all feel so great, too. They do. Um, keep that here, and I'll, I'll bring this out. This isn't a new one. This is one that we've had, but it's a Ponte Roma. It's a knit, so think of pants, skirts, your bottom weights with this. Look at this. You've got an outfit right there. Alice, what does Ponte Roma mean? It is a kind of a double knit. It's, it's a little bit heavier. See, that's, I don't know if you can see it or not. And it has in it 59 inches wide. It's got some spandex in it. Nice. So it might have some poly, but we, we only carry the good stuff here. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's some cheap versions of it. Mm -hmm. But pants, even a dress, and this is and your It feels like it it has more structure than it does. just like this it kind does. of knit. So we brought this out to see, look at how many pretty beautiful things go oh, with it, it goes today. Oh, a lot of them. Yes. So look at this one. Isn't this just fun? Not so frilly that, um, you know, I think anybody could wear this. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not just a little bit. It's got a little print. butterfly, yeah. some floral motifs in there. Pop of pink, gold, but yeah, we actually thought that that red and black stripe went with it actually. Oh, so I mean you you know have yeah. some fun. It's it's not bad. So this is a great wardrobe basic too. It's even got the olive green. If you wanted to wear olive green pants with that, we've got some wools here. My but. friend called me out the other day. Because I was looking at fabric, and I was like, what do you think of this one? And she was like, you always choose, like, green or olive green. Which is funny, <laughs> because I wouldn't even say it's my favorite color. But, but somehow my brain's always, like, olive green to me is new, a neutral. Yeah. And so that's what mm -hmm. I tend to go. And it's go one of the colors. If we don't tend to think about colors here, you know, if this year's colors, we just tend to, don't think about yeah. that. Because, um, one, it's what we can get. <laughs> but uh, this year, the maroons, the golds, the olives are supposed to be very popular. Oh. So if you could find any clothes in the stores, maybe that's the clothes <laughs> you'd find. Now, this one is just a little bit of fun. We couldn't decide if that's yellow or green. 
or chartreuse. Uh oh, we're gonna have one of those internet debates going on. <laughs> <laughs> Comment in Facebook: Is it yellow or is it green? I'm curious to see what people think. There you go. I like that. You could wear it with brown. You could wear it with black. You could make a anything. But isn't it pretty? Just yeah. the watercolor Just striking. Thing. Yeah. And Everybody the, will ask you, where did you get that? The great thing is, like, we have so many fabrics in the store to, you know, mix and match mm -hmm. and go with these mm -hmm. things. Margaret's really good about figuring that out. Mm -hmm. We're very did lucky. Do we have we anyone guess? Not yet. Oh, Not okay. yet. Well, Lots well. of shares already this morning, though. Yay, thank you. All right, look at this. This is a beautiful one. Again goes with I love the dots on that one I know it's got kind of a taupe in it it's got a gray in it it's got black guys we have one vote for yellow we have two votes for yellow okay 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 it's a bright yellow mm -hmm. yeah that's kind of what we thought but I don't know what chartreuse you know, <laughs> really looks like but yeah <laughs> There's another pretty one. Like Rose missed the question. Rose, it was what color did uh, that that yellowish floral look to you? Was it yeah. yellow or green? Debbie says yellow. So yeah. it, well, it's a green yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That? We have some patterns here. This is one is called the Easy Three Z. It's got three different jacket patterns. I it. really need to do that one. Yeah, and it's got kind of a fun back. Um, I think you can make it straight, but we don't have a sample in the shop. We should. Ooh. And I know this was made from a knit right there. So you can use this with knit, rayons, wools, anything. But think of that last one um, in something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, or there's, you know, this is a peplum, the pleated back flowy tee. I Ooh, like it a lot. That's really cute. If you're into peplum shirts, our all-time favorite Absolutely, everybody should have this one. It's the perfect t-shirt pattern, Pamela's t-shirt pattern. It comes with two fronts, one um, for people that need bust darts and one for people that don't. And then it's got three different sleeves. It's got three different necks. It's just a great pattern. It's drafted well for real women. So that all of Pamela's patterns are like that too. And then this is probably even more favorite than that, the peekaboo swing tunic. Just enough swing to make it fun yeah. and comfy, but it's, it too has different neck variations and sleeve variations and the same different fronts for bust darts or no bust darts. And I, I feel like this fabric right here Oh yeah, look really pretty with that swing tunic. This is not a new one, but we have had it in the store, and it is so worth showing again. I mean, just look at how pretty that is. It's it kind moves. of a border on it, but it's got plums and teals and golds and greens, and it's just beautiful. It, it's just so, it feels like... It's an Italian. Oh, It's well, an that, Italian knit. That so. explains it. <laughs> this one you it's might want to hand wash. And so look at here with the black, and, and it was sitting right next to this taupe um, knit, again, for pant weight. Look at, look at how pretty that, you might have seen it. This goes with many things, too. So here's your outfit, ladies. I'm doing that. So this one, you know, we just brought it to match. Now, we have three more that are not t-shirt knits. These are kind of a sweatshirt but we're kind of thinking they're more like French terry. I don't know, Margaret's shown this one before. It's a French, I think she wore it the other day, didn't she? I think she did. French terry, you know, it's got kind of those little loops on the inside, but look to make a little fun neckline with it. So this is a sweatshirt. Again, the six, 62 inches wide. And Looky there, you've got yourself really fun outfit oh, for yeah. fall. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, this is giving me Halloween vibes, just with the orange and the black. 
Well, yeah, there's that too. Make yourself, a, that's, a, that's an idea. Make yourself a sweatshirt and your automatic, wear, wear pumpkin earrings and <laughs> your dad. That's your Halloween party outfit. Yeah, you wouldn't need anything else. You could even add some sparkles on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of timeless, for especially for winter. You make anything out of that. So this one too is a sweatshirt. French Terry sweatshirt. It, they're not brushed on the outside, so when you pet them, you think, oh my, this is just a t-shirt knit. And it's not so heavy that you're going to roast either. So a jacket, a sweatshirt, um, a, a sweatshirt dress. Yeah. You were talking about your apron dress the other day. Oh. I'm thinking sweatshirt dress cool hood on it, you know. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> a dress with a hood? A dress with a hood. Why so not? And, and <laughs> the only thing it would need would be pockets, right? Yeah. And then it well, would be perfect. Pockets. Well, well there you pockets. go. There you, you go. Have pocket. Always pockets. It's, it's, you got it. But look at that fun. Beautiful colors of teal and Alice, Linda has asked, do you have a simple pant pattern suggestion for the Ponte knit fabric? We do. It is one of Pamela's patterns as well, and it's called the Perfect Pants. And we have that pattern we here. We have that pattern here. Um, do you want me to go grab it? Yeah, it's on yep. the far wall, kind of maybe down a little bit, mm -hmm. but yeah, um, she has instructions in there for just a basic elastic waist pant. I have a pair cut out, just not. <laughs> fit and done and whatever. They might stay that way for a while too. Who knows? Okay. Shield your eyes. But how much fun is that? That is bright. Maybe and maybe the young ones want something out of this? Mm -hmm. Very it, cheery. It is. It's also a French terry sweatshirt, whatever. So this one? That one. Oh. Pants Perfected by Pamela Patton. And of course, these are all available online if online. you're not local. Universityofsewing.com. <laughs> so that's kind of it for some of our new mm -hmm. fabrics. We didn't get any cottons in this week, did we? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Well, if we did, they might be up at the show with Margaret because she <laughs> takes all the new stuff with her. So that's wonderful. Okay, we have some more fun over here. Don't forget, for sharing, we get our little starry basics and we'll pick you a lollipop out of the pumpkin for that. So there's that. Um, oh, some new things we have in the store. These are... Madeira threads, and they're meant to be using for quilting. They're variegated threads. Um, they're called arrow quilt. They're supposed to be quilted threads. They don't have any fuzz at all on them. They're 40 weight threads. You can, you can use in your long arm. You can use on your free motion quilting. Um, I've used this one and this one. Margaret showed some scarves off we have for a scarf class. <clears throat> they have been going through the serger beautifully. I love these in the serger. That's what I think I have. Yeah, I have that on my serger right now, and I've been working on the patchwork. Oh, okay. So, right. Just yeah. Using. Okay. Yeah, we've got the Madeira Premium Serger thread up there, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's for the serger or not, but we sure are using it. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got these in yesterday. So we have all these lovely colors. And you'd think, oh, that looks kind of bland, but no, it's not. It's got a kind of a black, and it goes to kind of a green, and a kind of a purple. It's and a really, tan. really pretty. Margaret's pretty. got the scarf with her. We have a class coming up called Unbeweavable. Um, the best, like I said, Margaret has them with her up there. <laughs> uh, we are going to make two scarves out of knits. One scarf we're going to use that on, and the other one we're going to use a nifty little wide skip blade and make holes in our knit and weave things in it. So, yeah, it's a Ooh. fun class coming up. Now, another class we have coming up is... And we looked and looked around the store and couldn't find it, so maybe Margaret has that with her, too. It's called the Embroidery Fun Club. The first meeting starts on October 29th. I know it's just a 
few weeks away, a couple weekends away now. Or is that next weekend? No. No, no not weekends. next weekend. Okay, two weekends. It's online. Go to our website under the classes, and it's the Embroidery Fun Club. And each month there's going to be something fun from Smith Street Designs. They have this wonderful project each month, all beautifully done. I'm super impressed with it. So the first one is called Quilty Fun, and we're going to make little coasters, and we've got four sizes. So you can make even like a candle mat, a mug rug, a, a candle mat, you know, whatever you want out of it. So it, it's going to be really fun and unique. The next month in November, uh, we're going to do is called Twas the Night Before Christmas. And even our, our, our beautiful Berninas have something called a uh, pinpoint placement in the embroidery world. You won't need it for this. We are welcoming all brands oh. of embroidery machines for this. So come, you know, sign up online, come to the class, different techniques, the way the design is digitized. Yes, you're going to end up with a 12 by 12 square with the poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas, on it. And um, anybody can do it. Nice. They I think them. I'm signing up for that yeah. one. Yeah. It, it's awesome. I might stick one in December. I haven't decided or not, mm -hmm. just because everybody usually does Christmas things in December. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all busy. But um, there's, there's, it's going to be a good program. It's going to last a year. I've got six months worth on, on oh, the wow. calendar right now, but it's... Yeah, it's going to be a year. Alice, I know there are a lot of different embroidery club programs that are available mm -hmm. and that you have looked at them extensively. I have. Why did you choose this particular one? One, because we've seen samples of the designs and they're just really well done. Mm -hmm. They are made for every machine, so anybody can do them. The instructions are clear and precise. There's, I have teacher notes for that, and mm. I really appreciate how well they're done. The instructions that I would give you are, are super. You know, you follow it right down the step, and they're very well defined. Um, the designs themselves are digitized very nicely. Wonderful. So to me, that does the software, I, I appreciate a well yeah. digitized design. Mm -hmm. um, and it's something just a little bit unique. It's not like everybody else's. Mm. So, you know, like the Twas the Night Before Christmas, the, the little quilted mats. Um, you can't just go find, find them it anywhere elsewhere. else. Yeah. Well, that fits perfectly in with the University of Sewing because we like things yeah. that are just a little bit unique. It does. Yes. Just like us. Just like us, yay. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh, <clears throat> getting... We were talking about the knits and getting ready for this and and uh, maybe how to sew on those knits. Mm -hmm. So we have some things here to sew on those knits. You need a stretch needle. <clears throat> Just a good, good stretch needle. The eye is different. It's not necessarily ballpoint, but it's, it's the eye is different. The scarf is different on the needle, so you don't get skip stitches. Any machine past 1970-something is geared for sewing on knits. So everybody can sew on knits. <laughs> they really can. I'm trying to get more comfortable with sewing on We're knits. We're going to get her going. We really are. But I've done, I did the Pamela's the T-shirt class with Margaret. Okay. So again. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. But I'm. they still scare me a little bit, but again, I'm learning as I go. Okay. Yeah, just a few things to learn. So the needles... Um, when it comes to hemming them, not everybody has a lovely cover stitch serger, which makes it so easy because it just zips and it's done. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great. You can use a twin needle. A twin needle. Uh, you, put, you can put the same thread top and bobbin. You can use woolly nylon in the bobbin, which makes it a little bit more stretchy. But it just goes along and looks exactly like... We, we thought of this five minutes before we started. Otherwise, we should have a sample and do a demo. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but, so twin needle, any sewing machine, you can, you can hem and knit. But if somebody is curious about a sample or a demo in that, they can come in and visit. Please do. Yes, please to, visit. And today would be a wonderful day to do that. It is Super Saturday today. Mm. So because of that, there is 0% interest for 72 months.
you have to go over four thousand dollars mm -hmm. but we've already got a couple people that are coming in today mm -hmm. i'm so. getting a new machine <laughs> yes. today Yay. i'm finally getting myself <laughs> a new machine and i am so excited is it this one what one is this one 570? Yeah, I believe this is the one I'm going to go for. We, we should put an adopted sticker oh, on that machine. Oh, there you go. Yay, <laughs> today. I'm so excited about, like, we went to the, or I was at the quilt show last weekend up uh -huh. in Indianapolis with Margaret and them, mm -hmm. and I was so inspired by all of the work, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, I I need to get me a machine that I'm going to be able to do all those fun things on. Now, I know you were looking at maybe a lesser one. What made you go with this one? Uh, because it has the dual feed on it. Okay. So, if everybody knows what it is, there on the back, um, it kind of, you can use it or not. Can you see it? Yeah, I like that it just tucks up. It just comes right down and tucks under the foot there. And what it does is it helps you feed your fabric through. So maybe you have something like a knit. Mm -hmm. See, you like sewing on knits so yeah. much more now. <laughs> so like a knit, it helps feed it through. Um, quilting. People who do piecing, though you've got that tiny little quarter inch seam, now you have something to help feed it through. And so they end up the same size when you come to the end. Which is really nice when you're doing long borders. Oh, yes. Okay. And they actually end together. There you I go. I love it when that happens. Um, now, there's, what else, what else did you like about it? Um, well, I like that it comes with a Bernina stitch regulator. Um, because I want to try my hand at free motion quilting, mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. some fun art quilts and things like that with all my scraps I'm starting to accumulate. In the <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, like, I couldn't sleep last night, you guys. <laughs> I was on Bernina's website, and I was watching all these videos, and I'm telling, my husband's constantly like, Caitlin, can you fix the holes in my socks? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not going to fix you. Well, guess what? You, you can. can darn on this thing. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And so can. I told my husband, I was like, well, if I get this machine, I can finally fix your socks. There's a darning stitch on these. Yeah. Did you know that? I did. did. Oh, your buttonhole I told you. I was up all night looking at it. Okay. Oh, and the buttonhole, like I was looking mm -hmm. at a video on how to do buttons, because again, I've been wanting to start... I'm a beginner sewer, so I'm still learning a lot She's of things. She's improving fast. <laughs> but buttons have intimidated me. But when I was watching the video on how to do buttonholes with the button foot on here, I was like, oh my gosh. This I is bet you be next crazy. week. Let, let's have Caitlin do a demo next week on what she what? wants on buttonholes. I think so, don't you? I what? love that idea. Yeah. Thumbs up, guys, if you think that's a good idea. Well, yeah. Hey, ladies, we do have a question about the twin needle that you showed, Alice. Oh, okay. Is, Linda wants to know, is that a stretch twin needle? This one in my hand is because it's the first one I brought off the board. <laughs> but they we have, do have other ones yeah, up there. I've used a lot of twin needles because they come in different widths. Mm -hmm. You can get them real close together or you can get them mm -hmm. wider apart. We have, yeah, extra wide, universal. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of varieties. But if you had something, maybe a nylon knit or something that was giving you fits, go with the stretch. And twin. again, all of those are on our website. They are, very much so. So there was something else. I asked Caitlin, does she know the difference between the differential feed and a walking foot? And I don't. And she didn't. So, um, one, we wanted to show you the differential feed and, and tell you a little bit why she would like that, but also the walking foot. So what would she want a walking foot for? Well, okay, for one, if she's doing, she's making one of those um, two-piece or not-two-piece jackets. Yes. Right? The patchwork. The patchwork mm -hmm. jacket. And so she's, she's in progress, and it's going to be gorgeous and beautiful. So when it comes time to quilt that, how did you decide to quilt that? I think I'm just going to do basic straight line stitches. Stitch in the ditch, mm -hmm. kind of like the purple one is. Mm, I'm actually going to quilt it more. Oh, okay. All right. So that's why she would want the walking foot. What it does is it adds total feed dogs on top. So you have a set of feed dogs on top and a set of feed dogs on bottom moving it through. And especially when it comes to, because it's going to 
we got a big sandwich. I'm stuffing wool in between right. there. Right, okay. So, so she's going to have a sandwich bringing there. It's the, the differential feed will help her with the piecing and, and some parts of it, but this time she's talking about more area and more space. So she needs feed dogs yeah. through there. And this, our feed dogs, come with three different soles. This is just a regular one, like your regular sewing machine. We've got one that's like foot number 20. Maybe you can see it in there. It's got an open toe. So you can even do some zigzags or decorative Ooh, stitches with it or something. Stitches. Then you've got like a number 10 sole. My favorite. So if you're stitching in the ditch or putting your binding on, you've got number 10. So this is a lot more than just a walking foot. And what kind of other garment fabrics is a walking foot good for? Um, knits, maybe. Maybe some of those, you know, sweatshirt knits. Mm. Um, even a chiffon or a silk, a lightweight one that just might want to be giving and going. Like slippery. Uh, slippery. Mm. The, they're now is going to help bring it and feed it through together with that. Um, okay. Um, anything else? I don't know, but it's all I can, I'm just so ready to get it home. <laughs> I have a pattern already, my apron dress. That yes, I'm gonna, okay. But right. I think Margaret may have taken the fabric uh -oh. that I wanted okay. up with her. She might have. <laughs> so so anyway. we'll have to wait until Monday. <laughs> I'll find something else to play around with, though. But Yep, so we've got, just to wrap it up here, because I'm being given the sign that it's time oh. to wrap up. <laughs> we could talk all day. We could. <laughs> October 29th starts the Embroidery Fun Club, and we might be saying more about that later. Uh, we've got beautiful knits. We've got nifty machines on sale today only. It's just today. 0% um, for 72 months, over $4,000. Share? Oh, yes. Yeah. We're, we're going to pick you a lollipop and a thing for sharing and telling us that you're sharing. Yeah, and if you have any questions, send them in an email at info at university.com or give us a call. And we'd be glad or visit to, us. Or visit us. Yes, we're here till 5 today. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day.